Let's go. Let's do this. All right, we are in the kayak, ready to rock and roll. About to get rained on by this bridge. Dude, I'm still going over here. Trying not to get rained on. Woo! Yep. Getting out of this wake right here. That's the storm right there. We were supposed to go offshore and that is not happening. We do not, I do not like fishing and lightning. So we're gonna fish along the beach here for tarpon, jacks, and barracudas or whatever else bites there because that's just way too dangerous out there. We're fishing in the ocean and I asked Adam for a lure and gives me this little bass one. Let's see if it, I mean, it's got some, it's got some, uh, got some teeth marks, man. It looks like it's got some bites over the years. Oh yeah, come on. You got, you got crappy jigs and you got bad. Cra come on. We got a fish on. Oh yeah, blue runner. On the crappy jig. Oh, he's underneath my kayak. Uh oh, uh oh. He's under you. All right guys, so Adam's got a good fish on there. Yeah, Bonita on a 3,000 size reel with what, what pound braid? 10 pounds. 10 pound braid on a, oh, he's burning drag. All right, Adam, come on, catch that fish already. It's been like 20 minutes now. What are you doing here? I'm going to jack. I'm, I'm calling it jack. So, so Adam thinks it's a jack. Matt thinks it's a bonita. I think it's uh, I think it's a bonita. Dude, it's a bonita. I just saw it. 100% bonita. 100 billion percent. You can't. It's such a little jig and little hook. Yeah, it's a little tiny gold hook. Let's try to grab the line when you can. Oh yeah, Benita. Benita. Yes. Yes. Successful My job. dreams have come true. Yeah, dude, troll him out there. Dude, we're good with the weather, man. It's all breaking up. Yeah, we we gotta try. Get a live Benita out there. Get a wahoo. Yeah, live Benita. I could get a wahoo. Gotta try. Oh, I got a, I got one of those Panama Stinger rigs with me. Oh, nice. Big bait, big fish, right? That is right. All right, we're gonna send them out. That's it, I'm trolling this uh, this little X-Wrap here now. All right, we got a fish on here. It's a nice bonita, man. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's just fish for bonitas. Now it's a good thing there's no Goliaths and giant sharks here that are going to eat this because uh, right now it'd be, uh, it'd be in trouble. Look at that bonita guys on a kayak. Loving it. Beautiful fish. He's kind of skinny. You see he's not as fat as other bonitas. He's very long but skinny. Let's let him go. It's amazing guys. Look at how small this lure is. Look at how big that bonita was. And, and I trolled this thing for like literally a minute and I caught a bonita. It was sick. Woo, he's screaming drag. Look at that. Beautiful. Dude, what did I just hook? He's still going. This is a good fish. Still going. Trying to turn the kayak here. Kind of getting towed with it right now, which is weird. We're only in about 20 feet of water, so we'll see what he's got. I feel like 100 yards of line. Sorry, I doubted you, Adam. This lure is kicking butt right now. I'm thinking Bonita. Got some weight to him. In the mono. Oh, I see him. Looks like a bonita. Hold on. Oh, he bonito. inhaled it, dude. Oh, he got foul hooked. That's why he fought so hard. Look at that, guys. Foul there, foul hook. Dude, up. look how small that fish is. <laughs> and look at how much drag this fish took. This fish was screaming drag. Took over 100 yards of line and he weighs about six pounds. <laughs> Let him go. Going, going. Boom. Good fish right there guys that was that's why i love bonita so much he just took 100 yards of line he weighs like six pounds <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me that's sick 
the weather has cleared up, the sun has broken up the storms a little bit, so we're gonna try heading offshore right now, and we don't have a lot of bait, so we gotta make something happen. We try to get a king, a wahoo, a sail. Good pelagic species right now. All right, so you know that big bonita that we had on? Well, it just got chomped in half. That's clean, man, that ain't no shark. No chance of that a shark. That's a wahoo that hit that. That, my friends, is why you troll big baits for big fish. We just got unlucky there. How does that happen? Look where just, the treble is. The treble was in a perfect spot, just missed it. I got one on, feels like maybe a tuna. Yeah, sharp tail kicks, it's gotta be some kind of tuna or a, or a bonita. He's up at the surface. Spoke too soon. Bonita? It's a bonita. Not quite what we're going for, but. Yeah, it makes good shark bait. Good shark bait, good wahoo bait. That's what, it, that's what got hit last time, so. Adam and Matt right now are hooked up to a nice sailfish. They just gave me a call, I've lost them. We, we got separated out here. I'm actually heading back in right now. There's a really bad storm uh, inland. There's a storm offshore. You can see it right there. It's a bad storm. And there's one right here as well. So I'm trying not to get sandwiched between the lightning. I don't play games with lightning, guys. Let's hope they land that sail fish and get some good footage. Matt's got a sail on. Oh, out of nowhere. Oh! Oh, you got it. Well, you got it. You got it. <laughs> and then my my uh, my last bait, my blue runner, gets this cream by nice sailfish here. Did a lot of nice jumps. Man, he was energetic in the beginning, was, jumping man. all he over. Crazy. You know you got a sailfish on when your rod tip starts bouncing and going crazy. So mine was going nuts there, and I was just waiting for the jump, and it wasn't long until he jumped. So now you just sit back and enjoy the sleigh ride. So much fun catching these things on a kayak. I mean, each one I catch, I get, I'm still just excited as the first one. It's even cool catching them in a boat, but it's nothing like catching them in the kayak. No, I'll, I'll, I'll take one from a kayak besides five out of a boat all day. All day. It's, it's so much fun, and it's just you and the fish, man. There's no, there's no big boat to overpower you. It's just we might have another jump in them still. We'll see. Let's see if we can beat them before that comes to it. To, comes to get us. Yeah, we got a nice. Uh, Never fails. Nice. We've got a nice storm behind. Us. <laughs> nice thunderstorm coming right at us. There he is. Oh! There he is. I didn't know he was so close. Woo, look at that. Oh! Oh yeah. That's awesome. I couldn't have gone any better. No way. Oh man, he is going crazy. <laughs> Woo, he just soaked me. <laughs> Fish, maybe 40, 50 pounds. We're gonna get them back, release them, have them uh, fight another day. So very important, you know, taking your extra time through to uh, to uh, revive these fish. You know, the one thing about fighting them from a kayak is, you know, we wear them out pretty pretty good. You know, it's like a boat where we can whoop them in about three or four minutes. You know, that fight there took me probably about 15 minutes to land them. So, you know, you, you kind of stretch the fish out a little bit more. Um, so you just gotta take the extra time to revive them. Make sure they're healthy. I mean, he's already chewing on my finger, so he's gonna be uh, he's gonna be ready to go in a little bit. But just always give him that extra five minutes. Make sure he's 100% before you release him. Dude, you can see how close to the beach we are. Yeah. You can see people on the beach, <laughs> and we're that, catching man. sailfish. Catching sailfish right off the beach. We're in 78 feet of water here. You guys are wondering where Josh is. He kind of. He drifted away from us during the fight, so he's kind of, he's in shallow. He's probably smart, but he's really, he won't, he won't be near that storm like we are, so. This guy's about ready to go. 
That's what it's all about. Yeah, baby. Swim away nice and safe. Sailfish, now we gotta swim in safe before the storm hits us. We're back here. We just ate lunch, and um, let's talk about the sailfish for a sec here. So what I was doing a drift, they were jigging a wreck. They hooked a sail, and I was so far away. Matt called me. It was there was no way I was gonna get there in time. So yeah, we hooked in about 150. Josh was probably at 100, and with the current and everything, he can't really catch up. So. Uh, it's probably 40, 50 pounds, normal nice sail fish. fish for around here. Yeah. But, good good uh, we, for a summertime sail. Good for summertime yeah. sail, yeah, yeah. A lot of jumps, um, good fight. Probably took me 15, 20 minutes to get it in, but but, but uh, that's why we're out there, though, man. Those sailfish are so much fun to catch out there. Oh, so yeah. much fun. Especially on a kayak, that's a great yeah, fish. It's a blast. Fish for lifetime, actually. By far the best fish to catch from a kayak out here, hands down. If you guys want to catch a sailfish, these guys, I'm not joking, they get one like every time. I'm like, I asked Matt today, did anyone get one? And they got one. Yep. It is amazing. If you guys want to hit them up, go to Deep Blue Kayak Fishing Charters and book your trip today. Hope you enjoy watching, and we'll see you next time.